Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a kombucha review. And in particular, we're gonna be doing a GT's kombucha. So we're gonna do a hands-on, we're gonna take a look at the bottle. Then we're gonna do a sip test, which is the favorite part of my day, because I absolutely love testing new things. And then we're gonna talk about the kombucha, whether it's a 10-star kombucha or a one-star kombucha. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. GT's Living Food Synergy Raw Kombucha. That is what is up. I went with the ginger berry. Um, if you've watched any of my other kombucha reviews, I am not a fan of ginger, so this is gonna be really interesting. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't actually have ginger in it, but I'm sure it does. Um, oftentimes they will throw other things in to make it taste like something, so fingers crossed on that, but I am going to taste it no matter what. All right, organic, unpasteurized, that's what's up. Let's take a look at the side. I love how they give you a little history. This is very cool. Twenty-five years young. I love how it's GT Dave founder. That's so cool. Yeah, do not consume this if you're pregnant or breastfeeding because this is alcohol, people. It's not that much, but it's just enough to give you a little bit of a buzz. Or at least me, because I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I'm sure if you consume alcohol daily, you're probably going to drink this and think it's absolutely nothing. Yes, do not shake, swirl gently. I will show you exactly what they mean by swirl gently, because if you shake this up, it is going to volcano out. Unless you want to mess with your friend or something. <laughs> you might shake it up. 5% juice, that's what's up. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients right here. I'm not seeing any ginger, people. Are you seeing? Oh, there it is, pressed ginger juice. No, well, it's fresh, so maybe I'll love it. All right. Ginger berry, let's get into the sip test. All right, let's get into the sip test. So this one definitely has a good amount of live probiotics at the bottom. Look at that. That is probably more than I've ever seen. Um, that is absolutely crazy how much is in there. Wow. Look at that. Is that upside down? <laughs> there we go. Man. That is a lot. So another thing is you definitely want to check the best buy date on these things. Um, so this one is good to go. You do not want to consume one of these that's past its best buy date. Um, but now we're just going to begin the swirling gently. So this is kind of how I do it. Um, just, just baby in it. You do not want to shake this thing up. It will explode like nobody's business i might do that for one of my videos in the future just shake one up insanely and just watch it volcano out the top <laughs> okay so you kind of want to check the bottom make sure you don't have any probiotics stuck to the bottom it's looking clear to me yeah all right there you go Okay, so I always do a little tap on the top just to make sure that this thing is 
not going to volcano out, but let's get nice and close. Perfect. That's how it should be if you swirled it gently. That is exactly what you want to see. Let's check the cap. Nothing on the cap. If you watch my past ones, I had one of these GT kombuchas that was completely covered in probiotics on the top. That's kind of cool. They put the GT in there. I like that. Okay, so first smell. I'm smelling the ginger. I'm smelling blueberry for sure. Yeah. I mean, all of these kind of have a similar smell to them and they all kind of have a similar taste and that's the that's because they're using a similar tea and kiwi juice. Those are the two um, similarities with these GT kombuchas. So let's go ahead and give it the sip test. It's bitter for sure. Um, the ginger is not overpowering, but I'm definitely feeling that kombucha phlegm almost immediately. Like it's it's immediately in, in the throat. It's not very sweet. Um, and I can feel the ginger actually also in the back of my throat and it's kind of hitting my tongue. I'm getting the tingles. Oh, just got it up in the nose now. I felt it fire, fire up into the nose. <sighs> yeah, this is a powerful, this is definitely a powerful uh, kombucha right here. Wow. Yeah, you can actually see. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There you go. You can see it's already settled at the bottom. Yeah, this is definitely not. I would say this is definitely not the most enjoyable kombucha. I would say that um, I'd probably give it a, a five out of 10 stars. I'd say you're gonna enjoy it, but you're not gonna think about another one. And me personally, I might not come back to it. It's definitely not terrible. It is drinkable. I will give it that. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get that burning sensation now in my throat. Definitely a heavy burning. And as I keep talking, it gets a little bit worse and a little bit worse. And that's, that's for sure the ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if this is what's in the store and it's uh it's gingerberry or nothing i would say go ahead and grab it but it could be a little bit more a little bit more berry um the blueberry juice is just not it's not enough it's not hitting hard enough so i think if they added a little bit more blueberry you would enjoy it more the thing about blueberries that's really funny is they're not all sweet and a lot of them are sweetened by sh cane sugar so they're adding sugar to it to make it sweeter i've been on a blueberry kick lately doing blueberry with my yogurt and I'm, that's what i'm finding not all blueberries are created equal you have raw organic blueberries that are wild picked and they're tiny and kind of bitter and not very sweet at all and then you have the giant ones that you find in ihop pancakes 
and they're like way too sweet and they almost taste like syrup, which is really weird and kind of gross. And then you have the, the good blueberries that are in the middle of that that may or may not have sugar added to them. Um, I just found some organic blueberries uh, recently that were really good. Yeah. Yeah, I want it. I want it to be a little bit stronger with the blueberry flavor. But I'm guessing if you like ginger, you're going to absolutely love this. Especially if you like ginger and blueberries, you're probably going to be in love with this drink. But like I said, it is burning. It is burning the throat, the mouth, and I'm getting, I think there's just too much, too much ginger in here, not enough blueberry. That's my, that's my take on it. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm not getting the kombucha burps or the heavy, heavy phlegm. So that's kind of good. It's kind of balancing out. Um, some of these will give you a crazy amount of kombucha burps and just a wild amount of phlegm stuck in your throat. But this one is, it seems to be going down a little bit smoother. Um, and that's, that's what I love about GTs is that you're going to get a slightly different kombucha each time. It's not going to, each, each flavor is kind of uh, unto itself. Like, you know, if you buy five different flavors of Coca-Cola, they're all kind of the same, just with slightly different fake flavors. Um, but GT's kombucha, you're getting that, uh, yeah, you're getting that uniqueness for with each with each uh, flavor. Yeah, maybe maybe I'd give it six stars because of the lack of kombucha burp and phlegm. I would give it six out of ten. Yep, I would give it. Uh, yeah, that's definitely what I would give it. So yeah, it's it's enjoyable. It's not, maybe it's a, a colder weather, maybe it's more of a, a fall drink or a winter drink, just because I'm also noticing I'm, I'm getting a little warm from it. Maybe that's the, the ginger just beating down my body because I'm not a super fan. But uh, yeah, even though it's a berry drink, which is spring, summer, I'm going to say drink this in the... Bruh. There's that kombucha burp. All right. <laughs> Maybe I should drop it back down to five out of 10, but I'll, I'll stick with six out of 10. That's, that's what I'm gonna rate it. Six stars, enjoyable, not the best. All right, there you go. That's the GT's kombucha. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos by me and you want to support me and my family, hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to a thousand. I'm not there yet. And I'm hoping that your subscription is the one to push me over. So smash that subscribe button, hit that like button and become a part of the at home family. I mean, I, I'm constantly making new content. I'm constantly trying to build a channel that you guys want to watch. And every subscription just gets me that much closer to my dreams, which is being a YouTuber. So join this small YouTube channel and I, you, you're not going to regret it because I'm, I'm here for the long haul. I'm committed. I'm making content and I'm constantly trying to entertain slash inform you guys. So once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.